The scariest myths in Minecraft stole my heart, leaving me with nothing. Oh, there's more of you guys? Stay back! I'm warning you! No. Hey, hey, stop! It happened again, didn't it, Steve? Ah, yep. Those myths can't be far. We've just got to find them. But where could they be? Wait, I did see Green Steve, and he's known to hide in deserts, so maybe, just maybe... Aha! He blends right in! Give me back my heart, you monster! You think you can hide in there forever? I can't fit through... Oh, jeez! No, 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 this is way too risky! Yeah, with no hearts, you can drop dead any second! Ah, there's gotta be another way... Wait, Guido! Activate flamethrower mode! Time to turn up the heat! Oh, you messed up now, Green Steve! No! <laughs> burn, Green Steve! Burn! This is actually kind of fun! And there it is, Guido! The first heart of many! Now every time I kill a myth, I get their hearts and some insanely terrifying abilities! Behold, Guido, I'm all slimy and horrible now. I don't really see how this is an advantage. I mean, it does look like I've got some abilities. Like, watch this. My slimy smash attack. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, there's that. Uh, I've also got these slime balls, which at first seem pretty useless, but there's got to be a good reason for this. Let's try some target practice. <laughs> Whoa, I just turned that cactus into slime. What happens if I try it on the ground? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Woohoo! This is awesome! I wonder if it works on a tree. Oh, my gosh. Dude, what the heck is that? This guy is terrifying, but from behind, he just looks like a normal sheep. He's anything but a normal sheep, Steve. He's a mimic, and he can blend in and look like a friendly little creature until you get up close. Well, as long as we don't let it out of our sight, we should be fine. Oh, no. The screaming sheep must have escaped into that pen. And now he's going to blend in. Yeah. So which of these sheep are real and which one is the screaming sheep? I don't like the way that one's looking at me. Well, <laughs> looks like we've got to get up close and personal. Okay, Guido, just stay focused. It's probably not that little guy because he's too small and it's probably not any of the colored sheep, but I've got a feeling that something really bad is about to happen. Do you, uh, you ever get the feeling that someone's watching you? Yeah, I feel that too. Oh, it's just the go oh, taste the back! No, no, Hey, oh my gosh, it's him! Not today! Look, Guido, I managed to hit it. And because it's kind of green now, we know exactly where he is. He can't blend in anymore. That's great, but we still need to take him out. Oh, don't worry. I've got something special lined up for that. Wow. Uh, looking good, Steve. Now let's go finish off that green sheet for good! Whoa! Yes, we did it, Guido! The screaming sheep heart. Uh, sorry, little guy. I kind of killed your entire family. Oh, he's dead. That's two hearts down, Guido. Eight more to go. Wonder what's going to happen now. Oh, oh, that doesn't feel good. Oh, I just look totally normal now. Okay. A fly flew in my mouth. So I can unhinge my jaw. That's cool and everything, but can it actually do anything here? Oh my gosh. Looks like I can fire out some kind of blast. Uh, uh. What? I had to try it on something. It was either the baby sheep or it was you. Wait, was that some kind of bird? What was that? Oh, hey. How are you, little guy? It looks like he's got a letter for you from Benny. Oh my gosh. Who the heck is Benny? One of the people that stole your hearts five minutes ago! Oh, yeah. Let's see what he's got to say. Hello, my dearest Steven. Whoa, how does he know my legal name? 
I hereby formally invite you to a lovely and not at all dangerous dinner at my grandiose manor. Ooh, that sounds fun. We shall have an evening of not at all deadly fun. XOXO, Benny. Hmm, seems awfully suspicious to me. We're just gonna meet Benny at his place? Yeah, I see where you're coming from, Guido. But unless I go, we'll never get our hearts back. Hey, look, that little guy's all grown up now. Well, this place seems lovely. Do we have to go inside? <sighs> I'm sorry, Guido, but yes, we have to. But what if something happens to me? Oh, Guido, I've got you. Nothing's going to happen to you. Don't worry. <laughs> That's no way to treat your guest, Benny. Show yourself. Ah! I didn't think he'd actually do it. Welcome, Steve and Guido, to my wonderful manor. And to your demise. No, 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 no. Ah! Wait, did I... Did I kill him? There's no harm. I think he must have just teleported away. Oh, well, now he could be anywhere in this house. I know. And if we want to find Benny, then we probably have to split up. <sighs> I guess you're right. You check the basement level of the house. I will go upstairs. Well, you tell me if you need me. I can turn into a flamethrower, remember? Good luck, Guido. <sighs> the things I do for a free dinner. Uh, you know what? Let's just get this done first. No! <sighs> oh, this place is full of traps. Noted. Maybe Benny's in here. Oh, sorry to interrupt. My bad. So, how long have you known... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Wait, I don't have to run. I can fight back now. That's it. You don't scare me. In fact, you don't scare me either, Benny. Oh, oh but that scares me. Guido's down in the basement, and I need to get down there fast. Huh? No! Ow! Gotta be careful next time. Only got two hearts. Wait, I can hear knives and forks. Cutlery being prepared. We must be directly above the dining room. And that means we don't in serious danger. Don't worry, buddy. I'm coming. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, we know. Steve, get down here. I'm coming, buddy. I just don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> just one bite. <laughs> I've always wanted to try robots. Please don't. My scraps will get stuck in your teeth and it'll be disgusting. <sighs> Guido, get behind me. Uh, stay back, you. There is no escape, mortal. Yeah, we'll see about that, Binny. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, not again. <gasps> uh, he's just too fast. I can't even lend a hand! Yeah, but have you been paying attention to you? He's teleporting in a pair! Okay, how does that help me? Well, that means we can predict where he's gonna teleport next! Wait, Guido, you're right! Okay, and that means the next one is going to be... Um... Uh, uh, this one! Yeah, we did it! That's right, buddy, and this didn't even turn out too bad. We got free cake, and we got our next heart. Check out the snazzy new outfit, buddy. And I've got Benny's knife. Do you think that red stuff is jam from the cake? No, Guido. No, I do not. Now, come on, let's get out of here. The next heart away. Wait, no, no, this is the exit. No, let me out. Can't we just break the block? Looks like we're not leaving that way. The path to the next heart must be somewhere in this room. But I didn't notice any other doors. I mean, we've got these levers over here, but they do not seem to do anything. Yeah, the only thing in this room is that weird painting. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. It looks like some kind of crazy hellish landscape, but it doesn't look like the nether. There's got to be a secret to this. Steve, what is that? What oh, in the multiverse? It's some kind of hoglin. I... Wait, did that thing just go into the painting? Oh, well, it must have my next heart. We've got to follow it. But this isn't working. If only there was some way for us to teleport it. Wait. We've got Benny's knife. Maybe that's what gave him the teleport powers. The thing with jam on it? Yes, the thing with jam on it. Now stand back. Here goes nothing. 
Ah! Yep, this is definitely not the nether. And Guido, I've got a theory as to who I think that Hoglin was. You see, the farmers of the Minecraft dimension have reported that their pigs have gone missing. Huh? The pigs are then taken to a mysterious world, much like the one we're in, where they are infected with a dangerous parasitic worm, where they become the Hoglin Hacker. Okay, am I supposed to be scared? What? I, uh, kind of. Now, Guido, the Hoglin Hacker must have gone inside of that fortress, which means crossing this lava lake. Which is going to be harder than expected, especially with these giant lava spouts. Okay, let's just make sure to get the timing just right here. We Whoa! We do not want to be hit by these things. Sounds like this. I'm happy I can fly. Oh, shut up, Guido. Okay, got another jump right here. There we go. Wait for them to go down and then... Whoa! Okay, maybe I can just use my knife here to make it all the way across. Why didn't you just do that earlier? I didn't think. I'm scared. Anyway, just keep your eyes peeled for the hoglin hacker. There he is. Oi, you get back here. He's trying to escape. Yeah, well, if we want our hearts, we can't let him. Uh-oh. Looks like we've just found some kind of hoglin production line. Yeah, this must be where the hoglin hackers are made. And look. It's the parasite! It's jumping from Hoglin to Hoglin! So what are we supposed to do? Uh, we're just gonna have to make our way down and hope we don't get trampled! We've got to stop him before he gets away with my heart! He's just too fast for you! Yeah, but I've got the knife! <laughs> okay, he's on the way! But I still need to figure out some way to take him down. Uh, wait, I think I can knock that light down using my Benny knife! Okay, we'll go with this one just to be sure and hit the chain! Yes, there it is! The Hoglin Hacker Heart. Ew, it looks so gross. Oh, yeah, and so do I. Look at my thick, leathery skin. This is kind of disgusting, but what's not disgusting are these cool new items I've got. Check it out. Whoa, whoa, what's where you swinging those things? I think these are the pincers of the parasite. I wonder what we could use these for. I mean, it seems like they should be more useful than just being weapons. Oh, maybe I can, like, use them to climb up something. That would be... Wait. Guido? What, what, where did you go? Hello? It's a little bit rude that you just left me. Seriously, dude, where did you go? Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's... It's the black guest. Yeah. He already introduced himself. You give him back right now. Uh, oh, jeez. Whoa. Just get out of here, Steve. He's too strong. No, Guido. I'm not stopping until I get you back. Okay. Well, I've got Benny's knife. Maybe I can use it to teleport and latch onto him. The only problem is he's hiding behind that mountain. Just got to wait for him to come out the other side. Yeah. Uh, oh, I missed. Oh. Now where the heck am I? Oh, okay, this is fine. Just use this for cover. Let me just think. There's got to be some way I can get up to Guido. Wait, I saw some guests bathing in the lava pools. If I can get to them, I can use these pincers to latch onto them. Okay, just got to pick the right timing. Yo! Steve, what are you doing? I'm going to save your life, Guido. Just hold on. <laughs> Yes, it worked! I'm latched onto the guest! But the blank guest is retreating! Where the heck could he be going? Yeah! Onwards, my minion! Follow the black guest! We've got to get Guido back! And my next heart! Oh, we've been flying for a while now, and I still don't see... Wait, what the heck is that? Looks like some kind of... <gasps> Dude, I know what this is! This is the Soul Sand Farlands! The home of the black guest! But where is the black guest? We were following him and then nothing. Wait, wait, there's a cabin right there. I don't think the black guest is inside, but maybe we'll find some information on its whereabouts. With these pincers, I can literally climb whatever wall I want. And now we're in the cabin. Whoa. Oh my gosh, what a day. Not sure who this poor fella is, but I don't think he survived long enough to find the black guest either. Uh, wait. What is that on the wall? There's like an item for it. Black guest notes? Oh, so this guy must have been studying the black guest. Maybe he knows where he is. 
Let's see here. It's just describing the black guest behavior. This is all boring stuff. Uh, likes to nest in corners. Wait, does that mean we have to find the corner of the far lands? Okay, well, it shouldn't take me too long to find the corner of the far lands. Thank you for your service, sir. I'll just go ahead and hop onto my guest. Uh, looks like my guest has left me. Which means I'm going to have to travel across the far lands the good old-fashioned way. I'm going to have to climb. Oh, here goes nothing. Okay, Steve, this is fine. Don't panic. You've got this. Now we've just got to jump across to the next section. Whoa! Oh, dude, this is so intense. So far, so good. We must be getting close. Dude, the nest is so close. It's literally within reach. Okay, this wall is a little unsteady. But I'm so close. Yeah. Oh. Steve, help me. I think the black gas thinks I'm its kid. It's really weirding me out. Don't worry, Guido. I've got you. I'm getting you out of here. Oh, uh, hey. My, what beautiful teeth you have. Oh, it's just not going to let me by. My only chance is to attack. Yeah, take this. I take that. Oh, my gosh. It's losing control. This is great. Go, Misty. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. One more hit. Yeah. Uh, and there it is. The black guest heart. I'm fine, by the way. Oh, sorry, dude. Uh, Steve, you're looking a little different. What? Is there something in my teeth? Oh, my gosh. Dude, those are black guest tentacles. Uh, wait, what the heck? Somehow this is even weirder than me having tentacles. Is, is the black guest a painter or something? Well, with all those tentacles, they had to have a hobby. Yeah, I, I guess so. Okay. Time to go back to our world. Let's throw the knife and go back to our reality. Ah! Oh, man, are you kidding me? We just went underground? Uh, hey, Steve. Wait, Guido, where are you? What are you doing up there? Oh, what's up, dude? Guido, what are you talking about? Oh, my gosh. I'm guessing that the black guest power is giving the ability to fly. Uh, wait, is that Guido? That's... That's the Bone Warden. But this doesn't make any sense. The Bone Warden only resides in an area below the ancient city. Not the deep dark, the deeper dark. Look around. This clearly isn't the deep dark. It must be the deeper dark. I, I, I guess you're right. So I'm guessing the next heart is probably here. <gasps> Let go of me. Where the heck did you guys even come from? Who's even commanding you guys? It's a lot. The Bone Warden is alive! No! No! Let go of me! Let go! No, 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 no! It's coming this way! Oh, Guido, this isn't good. How am I supposed to defeat a Bone Warden? We do exactly what you did to the Black Gas! We attack! Check it out, Guido! We did some real damage right there! Yeah, now his bones are bright and real! Now we just need to land the finishing blow! Uh, wait, now what the heck is he doing? Wait, wh what was that? He regenerated his body! Yeah, and look, he must have done it by using those bone piles. Then we have to destroy those first. Yeah, but getting to the bone piles is going to be tough in itself. There's skeletons everywhere, and the bone warden itself is very strong. Bone pile down! And we've got another one right here. That one's down too. Oh my gosh, the bone warden is close. But remember, we have that hover ability, so let's just fly up out of the range of these guys. Go over to this side. Bam! Yeah, we're picking up some real momentum now. Ah, but there must be a few more left. He's still reforming. That should be all of them. Let's give this a shot. Yeah. <sighs> we did it, Guido. We survived the Bone Warden. I wonder what powers this is going to give us. <gasps> hey, Guido, do you think I've lost some weight? So we need to get out of the deeper dark, but considering how far the deep dark is and how much deeper than the deep dark the deeper deeper dark is. What are you even saying? 
What I'm saying is that there might be a more efficient way out of here by using our Bone Warden abilities. Now, something about these structures are calling me closer. What if I just... Whoa! Did you just absorb that? Uh, yeah. I think I did. I think the more of these bones that I absorb, the bigger I will get. Okay, that's great and everything, but how does that help us? Well, Guido, if I absorb all these bones, eventually I'll become so big that we can break our way back to the surface. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm a little too big. But if I get rid of a few of these bones, then I should be returned back to normal. Yeah, if you can call that normal. So I'm guessing that beacon is where the next heart must be. Come on, Guido, let's get moving. Whoa! Oh, gosh, what now? Steve, I think it's... What in the multi -bus? Dude, I'm just being hit by an invisible force. That's no. You can't see him, but you can definitely feel him. Yeah, he's beating the heck out of me. Okay, we gotta run through the forest and try to get to that beacon. How do we kill a myth that we can't even see? <sighs> okay, no sign of Null. All I can see is some kind of graveyard? We better start boarding this place up. Yeah, you got that right. But here's the thing, we shouldn't board up the front door. Sounds like a really bad plan, but okay. Well, if Null does come in here, we want him to only have one entrance. So we'll cover all the windows. We'll even cover this fireplace. But we do not cover this door. There, that should be everything. <gasps> uh, I saw Null. I swear I did. Steve, I've got to say something. Huh? What is it, buddy? I feel like someone stood right next to me. I can't see them. Wait, what? Uh, okay, don't worry. Just like the screaming sheep, I can use these to find Null! Whoa! Hey! He's heading into the graveyard! Wait, where did he go? He's hiding behind the shield! Uh, okay! Uh, oh my gosh, he's so fast! He's still using that shield! Yeah, who knows how long it's going to take to destroy him! Oh, if only there was a faster way. If I was just a little bit stronger, I could... Hold on. We are in a graveyard. And each of those graves have bones in them. Remember how the bone warden absorbed the bones and became stronger? Maybe we can do the exact same thing to destroy Null. Oh, spirit of the bone warden, assist me in raising these bones from the earth. I don't know, Guido, but I think we're gonna find out if we keep going. So come on, we can't stop now. <sighs> Whoa, this might be my coolest outfit yet, Guido. Guido? Sorry, Steve. I'm a little distracted. What are you distracted by? Oh my gosh, it's the Blood Enderman! Guido, look out! <laughs> I can't see! <sighs> what? He was literally right there. Wait a second. Guido, check it out. There's a trail of blood. I bet if we follow this, it will lead us to the Blood Enderman and the next heart. Looks like the blood is heading towards some kind of village. Uh, wait, but it also forks in two different directions. It goes to the left to the village and the right into that hedge maze. So the Blood Enderman could be in either of those two places. That's right, and we don't know which. The only way to find out which location he went to is to split up. Whoa, 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 hold on. Remember what happened last time we got split up? Biggie tried to eat me. Yeah, well, he didn't. Listen, Guido, just one last time, and this will be the last time we split up. Ah, uh, fine. I'll go to the maze. I can fly above it. Okay, and that means I'll go to the village. Which, honestly, I would have kind of preferred because villagers love me. But this village seems completely abandoned. Okay, this is weird. It's eerily quiet. But I'm not seeing any villagers anywhere. 
Which means the blood Endermen must have gotten to them first. Uh, Speed, you might want to see this. Oh, I knew I should have gone to the maze. I'm coming, Guido. As soon as I figure out the way through this maze. Oh, this is going to take me a while. This better be good, Guido. I could be in here for a while. I mean, technically, I could fly or I could just use my pincers. But where's the fun in there? <sighs> Oh, there you are. Look, Steve. I found some friends. Uh, Guido, I wouldn't exactly call them friends. They don't exactly look happy to be around you. Hey! They're not scared of me. They're scared of the blood Enderman. Oh, he must have kidnapped them and left them here. So maybe this isn't a maze. Maybe this is some kind of cage, which we are in as well. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay, uh... So, it looks like we're all about to die. But don't worry, you've got Steve the Brave Adventurer here with you. Uh, there's got to be some way to stop this guy. Wait, I haven't even tried my null powers. If I go ahead and position myself right here, and then go invisible just like Null did, then when the Enderman comes around the corner, I'll be able to trip him up! Oh, and look at that, Guido! Right into the wall! Aw, oh, poor guy. He actually looks kind of helpless. Yeah, well, he should have thought about that before he kidnapped all these poor villagers. Ew. Dude, I need a shower after all of this. Only two more hearts to go. Do I have to look like this? Have you looked normal at all today? Ah, <sighs> true. Oh! What the heck was that? Oh no. Guido, is that what I think it is? Guido, it's the Witherstorm! The most powerful entity in all of the Minecraft dimension! Yeah, and it must have my next heart. Dude, it's not even the last one. How can it get more powerful than this? Oh, it's beginning. It's targeting the area around us, the, the village. It's absorbing all the land into its body, making itself stronger. Well, this is the weakest it's going to be, so let's go! We've just got to target those three heads! Be careful about getting close, Steve! No, Guido, I've got this! Oh, no. No, 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 this is bad. This is really, really, really bad. we got to get out of here! <laughs> okay, new plan. You see those lights, Guido? Those are targeting lasers, and it's pointing exactly to where the wither storm is going to inhale the land from next. So, if we use these slime balls, we can convert a chunk of the land into slime. Awesome! But what exactly is that going to do? And now, if he inhales some of the slime, it'll clog his stomach up, meaning we can lend some more hits. Come on! Yes, yes, yes! No, 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 no! Um... Hello? Guido? I think I'm by myself. Well, this isn't creepy at all. Uh, nice to meet the locals, I guess. So this must be the inside of the Witherstorm. Nice place. But, you know, if I keep going, I'm sure I'll get to its heart where I can finish it off for good and then get my own heart back. Oh, that can't be good. No! Oh my gosh, spiders! Dude, they're bad enough as it is, but these guys are freaky! Ah, oh, but they don't look that much stronger than a regular spider. Phew, possessed reverted. But still, I don't want to be around when more of those guys appear. Oh my gosh! We're the symbiote! Okay, no, this is bad. Let go of me, sir! Oh, I've got to get to the core! <sighs> this is going to be it. This is going to be the core. No, that is clearly its butthole. <sighs> Wait a second. There's some kind of light? It looks like the one that inhaled me into the Witherstorm. I wonder if the Witherstorm's power source is this way. Oh, it's literally right around this corner. Oh my gosh. This must be the core, and there's got to be some way to destroy it. Wait, I still have Benny's knife. Hey there, Witherstorm. You got room for dessert. <gasps> no way. He did it. Oh, great. I'm in an office building. I never wanted an office job. Steve, you're in the back rooms. You need to find the heart now. Uh, okay, Guido, I'll find the heart. Uh, wait, I, I see it. That was easy. Hey, Steve, don't pick that up. Oh, Guido, it was literally right there. Don't worry about it. It was about time that I got a heart that was easy to acquire. And now that I've got all the hearts, I'll be returned back to my reality. Any second now, right? 
Um, Guido? Guido, get me out of here, please! What, what the heck was that? Um, hello? Friend? Can, can you help me get out of here? My name's Steve. I, 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 hey, don't walk away from me, please. I just want some help!